Aviv? Yeah, you know how long it has been since we have kicked up our heels? But they play salsa there. What else would they play? Tito Puente, Riboredo, all my favorite guys. You figure that one can lindy to Tito Puente? Hey, you're a terrific dancer. I will teach you salsa. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I don't want to. Marangi. I, 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 oh, for goodness sí, sake. Para participar, para participar, para Not that. <laughs> but you could be. It's a No, 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 no. You no. Don't. It's like no, this. No, let you me go. explain. Vince, please. Vince, this is a hospital. I work here. So what? What is What? You can't merengue where you work? Let me explain something to you, sweetheart. Do I come to the restaurant while you're working? That's what Pilar. Is she, do, she doing here? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to go talk to her. Listen, listen. Her attitude stinks. Doesn't matter. It's my attitude that counts. Well, why don't you wait till she asks? Because I don't want to give up this chance. Do me a big favor, love, and just go back to the restaurant. Meet me back here at 5 o'clock with your dancing shoes on. Goodbye. Hi, Pilara. Well, well, this is Mac. What are you doing here? Getting my hard cast changed for a soft one. Really? Oh, it must be healing very quickly. That's what they say. So, uh, what are you reading? No, I'm just looking at pictures. <sighs> Pretty girl. Pretty? She's a knockout. Man, if I looked like that... What? I could have anything. Big bucks, any man I wanted. You know something? I believe you can have anything. And not just because you're good looking, which you are, but because you're smart. <laughs> Never change. <laughs> what do you mean? No matter what I say, you always come out with some Mary Poppins junk. I have never lied to you. Hey, that's what I had to call you. Check it out. Mary Poppins. <laughs> I've been called worse. In fact, I rather like it. Perhaps I should start carrying a small umbrella. Well, at least you try, ma'am. <laughs> what? To be funny. Of course, you never really are, you know. I mean, it never really comes off. Well, hell, and here I was, counting on a second career as a stand-up comic. Do yourself a favor. Stick to what you do. I'm not always sure I do that very well, either. Sure you do. You're okay. Well, you have never said that to me before. So I'm saying it now. I mean, you're not bad. I mean, at least, at least you can admit you're not perfect, you know. I want you to do me a favor. Huh, I should have known. Tell her something nice and she wants something already. Oh, no. No, I don't. Nope. I want to give you something. This is my... my home number and my address, just in case you ever want to talk. Thanks. So, how are things going with Reuben? Telephone for Mary McKinnon. Mary McKinnon, please. <sighs> I'm sorry. I hope someday you do want to talk. I'm still waiting. They haven't taken that thing off yet? Dang, on. How long is it going to take them? Soon. It better be. I want you out of here. I want everything the way it was before. Back. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, what do you know? It's sex a little strength again. Did you come to pick up Pilara? Oh, babe. See, I came to pick up you. 
Has she gotten her cast off yet? No, 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 let's not talk about her. Let's talk about us. See, this is our chance now. See, we can go away together. You know what I mean? Nobody can go find out. I know what you did to her. What are you talking about? Huh? What did she tell you? She didn't tell me anything. I figured it out. And I want you to know that I am going to do everything in my power to stop it. Oh, the hell you are. Then you admit that you beat her. No, I don't admit nothing. Yo, let me tell you something, right? You had better stay out of our lives. You understand me? Huh? You had better stop minding your own business. What are you doing? What'd you tell her? Nothing. I figured it out for myself. That answer for herself. What'd you tell her? Nothing, Ruben. I swear, I don't know what she's been telling you, but she's lying. I didn't say nothing. I'm sorry. I am. I didn't want to start it. Why don't you leave any... us alone, damn it? I never should have trusted you. I can help you, Pilara. We don't want your help. And who do you think you are? Butting into our lives, ruining everything. I'm sick of it. You, you hear me? I want you out of my life. Do you understand? For good. We don't have any medical coverage. Your job has no medical plan? I'm, uh, I'm between jobs right now. Can I, can I pay by the month? How much can you handle? Uh, $200 a month, that'd be all right? I have to check with the business office. About what? Just sign here, Mr. McKinnon. I'll get back to you. Vince. Hey, Jake, hi. I just, uh, just saw Mary a couple minutes ago. Yeah, I went down to her office. I'm a little early to pick her up. What brings you here? I just paying some bills. Hi, I need any help? Did I ask for any? It's there if you want it. I don't, all right? Uh, you, uh, how's the job search coming? <laughs> I've only been out of a job for two days now. Yeah, but you are looking. Of course I'm looking. What do you think? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is me you're talking to. You don't understand, Vince. You... Hey, hey, hey. Don't tell me I don't understand. Don't you think I've ever stood on an unemployment line? I had four kids to feed. When I worked sometimes, there wasn't even enough money. That's why Mary went to work at the Loves. That's why our marriage went to hell. Don't tell me I don't understand. Are you ready for merengue? How about we just go to the movies? Oh, better. Better idea. We could stay home. We could send out for pizza. We could watch TV. It's Thursday night. All your favorites. Chateau Caribe. You're really adamant about this, aren't you? Unless you'd like me to go alone. Huh? Huh? Right. Some place that's full of young, beautiful, unattached women in short skirts, right? Forget it, Charlie. What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing. I'm fine. Let's go. Oh, Mary. Uh, listen, I'm glad I caught you. Hi, oh, John. Hey, John. How are you doing? Uh, pretty good. I, I wonder if I could speak to you for a moment. You don't mind if I borrow your bride, do you? Don't worry about it. Good. I'll only be a minute. Okay. Mary, listen, I'm awfully sorry that I missed our appointment the other day. Oh, that's okay. I was wondering if I could set up another time. Sure. What would be good for you? Well, whenever you can fit me in. How about the beginning of next week? Fine. That'll, that'll be good. All right. I'll call you tomorrow. We'll set a definite time, definite day. Thanks. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you then. Mm -hmm. Mary. What? I was wondering why you never called when I missed my appointment. I billed you for it. And I guess I'm learning. What do you mean you're learning? That you can't make people want help. They have to want it themselves. And sometimes people do not make a decision that they have a problem and need help. I'm awfully glad you did. Bye. One down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, Cheryl says that the whole town is gorgeous. Oh. So everything's lighted up. 
And everything is decorated. Oh, I've never been to Washington in the winter. It must be beautiful. Mm, I'm just so excited. I'm going to have the whole family together. Is Ben going to be there, too? You bet. Ben and Cheryl and MJ oh. and Scott. Well, someday I'm going to have my own big family for Christmas. I'm going to have all my children. And we're all going to be trimming the tree and wrapping presents. Yes, you will. Because that's what Christmas is all about. Having lots of children, sharing it with friends and family. Hey, Mary. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Honey, what are you doing? Well, what kind of greeting is that? The hmm? doctor told you to take it easy. He didn't say anything about staying in bed. Yeah, but he said he didn't want you working on. Light chores are okay. You can call him and ask him yourself. Okay, just, uh... Don't overdo it, all right? Oh, you're so sweet for thinking about me. Mm. <clears throat> well, uh, speaking of chores, I have, um, I must have something that I could, I'll pack, I'll, I'll, I'll pack present stuff. You'll never notice I'm gone. Mm. Mm. Feeling okay? Mm, just fine. You look fine. Mm. As a matter of fact, you look better than Oh, you don't look so bad yourself. <laughs> oh, I miss making love to you. It's okay, honey. You don't mind? Of course I mind. It's okay, I love you. Especially mm. with everything you're going through to have our kid. Hey, you're going through something, too. You know something? I think that Dr. Jensen is going to work a miracle. Oh, no. Well, that certainly is a change in attitude. I have the best wife in the entire world. Pretty soon she's going to be pregnant with my kid. I know it. to go do some Christmas shopping. Yeah, Mary, why don't you uh, drag the old man out to come with us? Come on. That's a good idea. I no. still have a couple things left on my list. Oh, hey. How oh, do you know I don't go until the last minute? He'll go. He'll carry packages. Yeah. All right, well, I'm ready when you all are. I will get coats. I'll get checkbooks. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay well, I'll this for a sec. I'll get that. Oh. McKinnon residence. Yes, this is Mrs. Jake McKinnon. Yes. Well, that's the only time that's available? Yes, I understand. Thank you. Who was it? Dr. Jansen's office. They've um, set up an appointment for the laparotomy. Great! Yeah. What's the matter? The only appointment they have available is for next week. I, that can't be, honey. Yeah. I'm gonna be in the hospital for this. Honey, that can't be the only date. Well, I'll just have to postpone it, that's all. What kind of doctor does surgery on Christmas? One that gets results, Vince. Look. We will have other Christmases. Okay? I know that. I just don't like the idea of waking up all by myself on Christmas morning. You don't have to. Not with our new program. What, what program? The hospital now arranges and, and special circumstances for the spouse to stay in the room with the patient. Mary, how do we, uh, how do we qualify for special? Yeah. Well, of course, I am not without influence at the hospital. And you guys are very special to me. <laughs> oh. See, honey, it's not going to be like that. All right, well, I'll have to tell Caroline. So tell her. Oh, no, Christmas is her busiest time. She'll have to get someone else. Fine. And fire me. No. Sweetheart, we could use that cash. Listen, don't you worry about the bills. My job covers it, okay? Wait a minute. I thought you said that, you know... As a matter of fact, they just increased my benefits. The, the 
people you were working on the project with. Yeah. yeah. So you uh, see it won't be any problem at all. 